This man's name is Carl Johnson. He is a bad man. Here is an example of his day. He is let out of jail at 7.30 a.m. He immediately commits his first crime of the day by shooting a policeman in the foot. He then travels to a quality restaurant, Steve's Shitty Pizza Shack. He consumes his morning meal. You're joking, right? Get out of here. He then vomits. Carl is then chased out of the restaurant with force. Get out of here. Upset, he then goes to his girlfriend for support. You mm -hmm. I was incredible. You was just great. He is given a friendly lift to the local hey, airport. Hey, don't sweat it. He then boards a plane. As the in-flight entertainment did not entertain them, he hijacks the pilot controls. Carl changes course towards a distant city. At this point, he realizes that he does not know how to fly an airplane. Oh no! Oh shit! He wakes up at the Sanfir Hospital at 1.46 p.m. Thankful to the staff who saved his crappy life, he shows his gratitude. Not realizing the carnage he has created, he continues to wander the streets. Unfortunately, the police find him while he is browsing for clothes in the local shop. He comes out and tells them to piss off. They agree. He goes to the train station in hope of boarding a plane. When no plane arrives he is forced to get on a train. However, he has no money to buy a ticket. He boards the train anyway. Halfway through the journey, Carl is chucked off the train. The fall leaves him unconscious. At 4.35 p.m. he wakes up and realizes he has to get home. He decides to spawn a jetpack, which will aid him in the journey. He launches himself. Just past 6 p.m., he runs out of fuel over the freeway. Damn! The drivers refuse to stop for him, so he is hit. A massive pileup is caused. A caring woman drags him to his local area and dumps his body on the street. After he wakes up, he realizes he needs a haircut. However, he realizes that he now has more hair. Oh, shit. What the hell? Angered at this, he attacks the barber. Hey, but I ain't slow. At 7.56 p.m., he calls it a night and decides to go home. He borrows a car and drives off. After a minute, however, he realizes that he has no home. Feeling depressed, Carl tries to commit suicide again by jumping from a great height. He fails. The police find him moping around and decide to send him to an abandoned hut. Carl is finally satisfied with his new accommodation and is left in peace. This is the end of Carl Johnson's Supertastic Mega Ultimate Day. We hope you have found the experience truly mind-bending.